MacBook Air 2008 through 2009 DC in board replacement. When removing the rear access panel on this model, there are three different unique screw sizes. On the top left is a medium sized screw. And in the top right corner, there's also the same type medium sized screw. In the middle two top screws, they are the longer ones. So in total, there are two long screws in the middle top, two medium length screws on each of the top corners and six very small screws going around the rest of the contour of the MacBook. Go ahead and remove the four medium and long screws up top first. Now go ahead and remove the six short Phillips head screws. You can now lift up the cover. Before you begin, start off by disconnecting the battery from the logic board. It's connected one simple connector switch. The battery is being held in with nine Phillips head screws in various sizes. Go ahead and unscrew those screws about five to seven turns each, but leave them in their perspective socket. This will make it easier for you to reinstall the battery without losing the screws. Once all nine are loose, go ahead and lift up the battery and move it over to the side. DCN power board removal. The power board is screwed in with two Phillips head screws. Go ahead and remove the two Phillips head screws on each end. Pull out the power board. DCN power board installation. Go ahead and place in the power board into its socket first, then secure it with the two Phillips head screws. Please note that it doesn't screw in all the way and it is kind of loose even after a tight installation. Go ahead and reconnect the DCN power board to the logic board. Battery reinstallation. Place the battery gently into its socket. Go ahead and secure the nine Phillips head screws. You can now go ahead and reconnect the battery to the logic board. We're ready to put back the main cover. Place the cover and cover the MacBook Air. Start off by first installing the two long middle Phillips head screws. Then the two medium sized Phillips head screws on each corner on the top of the MacBook. Now install the six short Phillips head screws going around the bottom contour of the MacBook. That's it, we're done.